Hello guys, so welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to delegate your T-Core on MetaMask uh, wallet. Okay, this activity is very, very important because the same procedures we apply in delegating and on delegating T-Core uh, during testnet, the same processes we're also going to employ during the mainnet. So every core miner is expected to master these processes as against uh, preparation for the mainnet so that once the mainnet is launched you wouldn't make any mistake that you will regret later so what you need to do is once you open your metamask okay you make sure that you have um you have uh, at least one t core okay make sure you have at least one t core then 0 0.0004 uh, charges okay that's transaction charges now what you need to do now is you click on this uh, three horizontal line, okay? Then you click on your browser, okay? You allow it to load, you allow the page to load. Okay, this page has loaded. So what you do now is on this uh, URL portion, on this search bar, you paste, um, you click on it, then you paste the address, the URL of uh, the validator operation all right you paste the url so i've pasted it now because i have it already i have it already so if you don't have it i'll drop the link in the description so that you can easily uh, copy it then uh, participate in the delegation exercise so i'll click on search okay i'll give some seconds for the page to load i'll give some seconds it's loading okay now once the page successfully loads, you search through, okay, you search through, there are different types of nodes you can delegate our call to. We have the rock node, we have the ant node, formation node, posi uh, position node, okay, the spider node, sorry for that. We have um, the node providers and so on. Now, take note of this, okay, guys, take note of this. You only delegate to uh, nodes that are active okay now take note of this also this is an inactive node please do not delegate your core or your t core to an inactive uh, node always remember to delegate on active node and also you pay attention to the the percentages here okay you pay attention to this okay this is the commission percentage of the b2 node this is the commission percentage of uh, the sb validator this is the commission percentage of uh, the jack node okay so pay attention to the percentage okay now obviously the higher the percentage of commission the higher number of t-core you are going to get as reward okay obviously so what you need to do is for the purpose of this video let me select the formation um, node which has the commission of a uh, five percent so i'll click on it formation node okay then I'll allow it to load. Okay, it has loaded now. So I'll click on this delegate option. Okay, I click on it. Then two options has appeared, delegate coin and delegate hash. Now we are not delegating hash, we are delegating coin. So we click on delegate coin, all right? Delegate coin. Now, excuse me, I have to do that again. Delegate coin. Okay, now look at this option here. This is my... Okay, this is the address I'm delegating to. Okay, then this is the least value of core that I must have in my wallet before I delegate. Now, for the purpose of this video, I want to delegate to core. Okay, so what I'll do now is I'll click on this plus option. Okay, you see now this has changed to two. Okay, it has changed to two. Formerly it was one. So what next I'm going to do now is I'll click on delegate. That is, I'll click on this button. So let me click on it. I've done that. Okay, I'll wait for the confirmation. Allow it to load. You patiently wait. Okay, now, this is the amount of core that I want to delegate. Okay, this is the total amount of core I have in my wallet. This is the estimated gas fee. Okay, I remember when I, uh, at the beginning of this video, I said 0 0.0004 uh, T core for charges. As you can see, it is 0 0.0002. Okay, that is the correct uh, figure. Okay, so that is the correct uh, amount of charges for this transaction. Okay, then 
Having done this, I will click on confirm. I click on it. You allow it to load. You give it some time. Okay, transaction has been submitted. Transaction has been successful. Okay, you see it. Okay, so this is how to delegate. This is how to delegate. And it is not different from, it's not going to be different from the main net. Okay, it's not going to be different from the main net. So, uh, it is advisable that you master this processes, master this uh, operation, so that once the main net is launched, you wouldn't uh, have any reason to regret by, by delegating to a, a wrong node or doing an improper thing, all right? So, it is very, very important. You can practice it as many times as you can, provided you have, um, you have T-Core in your wallet, Okay. Now, if you want to know, if you want to know the um, the commission reward that you've gotten, okay, the reward you've gotten as a result of uh, the delegation you just did, or rather you did before. Now, like um, I've done, I've delegated some amount of T core in the past. Okay. Now, if I want to check to know, or rather to see the reward, I'll click on this button. Okay, then I'll click on my staking. I hope you can see it. Excuse me. This is it, my staking. Okay, I'll click on it. Okay, now I have deposited a total of five uh, T core. Okay, a total of five T core. You can see it on the screen. Okay, now uh, for the purpose of this video, I, de I, I, I delegated two cores, right? Okay. In the past, I delegated three core. Okay, to sum it up to five that we have here. Now, take a look at this. This is the reward that I have gotten. Okay, from the past one that I delegated. So, if I want to click, if I want to get this uh, reward, okay, if I want to get this reward, I'll simply click on claim. Okay, I'll click on claim, so that the reward we add up to my wallet. Okay, then I'll wait for it to confirm. Okay. Then I'll click on confirm button. Okay, you give it some seconds. Yeah, transaction submitted. Transaction submitted. You hold on until it says transaction succeed. You hold on. Okay, you see transaction has been completed. Okay, so this is how to delegate your call. This is how to delegate your call. Okay, this is how to delegate your call. It is not... Uh, different is not going to be different from what you are going to see during uh, main net. Now, another important thing I want to tell you before I uh, bring this video to an end is if you want to undelegate, okay, you come back here, just the same process of delegation. You come back here, okay, you click on this delegate button, then, sorry, sorry, not here, this is it. This is it. Okay, this is the right place to go. If you want to undelegate, okay, you click on it, then you click on undelegate coin. This first option, okay, you click on undelegate, then you wait for confirmation. You understand? But currently, I don't want to undelegate, okay? So let me reject it because I don't want to undelegate. You understand? So, but that is the process you have to go through to undelegate your, uh, your T core. Or your call during mainnet okay now if I go back to my wallet I'll discover that I used to have four core plus here but since I've delegated two out of it it has reduced okay it has reduced to two okay now and when I on de delegate if I go back now and on delegate the core that I've already delegated it will come back to this uh, uh, total number of core that I have here it will add up again Okay, so that is how to delegate and undelegate. Okay, guys, if you find this video interesting, please, you subscribe to my YouTube channel, click on the notification bell, you like, you comment, okay, and share my videos. Okay, thank you and hope to see you in my next video.